Right, um, we've got Steve Baker here yep. uh, from Parliament for Wickham. Okay. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Steve Baker. I'm the Member of Parliament for Wickham. I was elected in 2010. Lovely. Well, it's lovely to have you here, Steve. Um, we're here today to highlight the TTIP, which a lot of people don't know what it is. And I've been asking and explaining because moving on TV is for the ordinary person on the street. And this is really going to affect the ordinary person that can't afford private insurers, etc. So I think there's a, few, there's a few assumptions in what you just said. So can we start at the beginning? It's the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. Now, that you asked me earlier, what am I doing about it? The main thing I'm doing is to get us an EU referendum, because the thing is this. International trade is a European Union competence. And that means that as a member of parliament in a British parliament, I cannot stop that treaty. Because under a European law, it is a European competence. Now, that's why I want an EU referendum, because I want our parliament to have the power to decide some of these things. But at the moment, while we're members of the European Union, I do not have the power to stop that treaty. So whatever is in that treaty, we could go to and fro discussing what's in the treaty, what it may or may not do. But the fact is that all the time we're members of the European Union, I cannot stop it. So I've worked really hard this Parliament to get a referendum on the European Union. David Cameron's looked down the barrel of a camera and said that if he is Prime Minister, we're having a referendum, and I will hold him to that. And if people want to get the power back in our Parliament to decide on these treaties, then what they need to do is vote to leave the European Union. OK, I understand. Um, we're only interested in the people. We're not interested in anything else. We're just interested in telling the truth. And unfortunately, all of this is happening in secret. And thanks to 38 Degrees, it's all been highlighted. I wonder what else is going on behind closed doors? Well, there's a funny thing here that vast amounts of things happen absolutely on the public record and people don't pay any attention. So all, all the work I do in Parliament, all the laws we pass, all the tax breaks that are given to people, all the special privileges and subsidies, they're all a matter of public record in Parliament. And yet people are determined to go and look for the things that are happening in secret as if there was a conspiracy. And the truth is, the truth is that in our country, the laws are passed in public. And if people want to know what laws are being passed, you go and look at them. They're available to you. Okay, so how come nobody knows what the TTIP is? It's not on the news. It's not been told to anyone. I mean, it's the future of our children. It's, it's everybody's future. And the media is not putting it on the news. Well, the interna international free trade is in everybody's best interest. I believe that. And I, I'm not, it's non-negotiable with me. I believe in international free trade. The problem is that because government is so big and so interventionist, free trade deals end up being re involving regulatory harmonisation and then big corporations try and capture that process, right? Now that's where I surprise people because I do agree. I, I worry about concentrations of power, whether they be in government or corporations. What's really important is that we have democracy and that power answers to the people. Now that's why I want an EU referendum. Now, if you ask why does it happen in secret, well, the trouble is with, when you get into nations negotiating with nations, in, in international law they have the status of persons just for the sake of writing law, and so they do have the opportunity to have these negotiations. Well, obviously, in the end, the treaty will be revealed to people. But I just, in the end, I come back to this. People talk to me as a member of parliament as if I had unlimited power. But all the time we're in the European Union, there's a whole range of powers which I do not have as an MP because we handed those powers over to the EU. Okay, I understand that. Well, like I say, I'm really grateful. We've got 38 degrees, we've got change.org, we've got Avaz, we've got the sum of us. And I made an analogy to the French Revolution in 1789. We are, we're in a revolution, but we're doing it with the power of a pen and the internet, thank God. So it's very... Let me just say, I hope, really hope we're not about to have a French Revolution. We don't need violence, we need peace. Yeah, and the truth is, I mean, I only got into politics in 2007. The truth is, there is a great many people of goodwill in the main political parties. And one of the great frustrations for somebody like me is that ordinary people, normal people who are worried about world events, don't just get involved with politics directly in parties. Now, one of the things that's going on is that well-intentioned good people seem to be rejecting party politics. And it's a problem, because in the end, you cannot have parliamentary business conducted with 650 independents. That's basically how it used to work. And the trouble is, you have to have a programme of government. And the question is either I or no. 
and you have to organise for these votes, and organisation requires parties. And the big problem we've got at the moment is that people aren't prepared to participate in party politics, and so the system is collapsing. And what, what I believe and what I'd plead for people is decide what you believe. Are you an old English classical liberal? Are you a conservative who likes to avoid change? Or are you a socialist? And pick, a, pick, a, pick an ideology and then pick a party. Now, as it happens, I'm an old English liberal, and that's why I'm in the Conservative Party, which is a bit confusing, but that's the way it is. So I would implore people who care about these issues to get involved with di with directly with democracy in political parties. Pick one, join one. These are parties. I was elected to be the Conservative candidate by the members of Wickham Conservatives, and it's a democracy. If they don't like me, they can get rid of me. Thank you, Steve. I mean, with all due respect, I think 38 degrees are getting very big and I think they're representing the people. And, I, you know, what you said about uh, when I mentioned the French Revolution, I, meant, I said that we are not a violent society, that we can do this with the Internet, thank God. And I totally support peace, as everyone who knows me. Um, but, I mean, from your point of view, just one last question. Well, how c if you were looking at the ordinary person at the street, that this is going to could affect them in a big, big way, and they can lose the most precious thing that we've got, one of the most precious things we've got, which is free NHS, free hospital. I, I don't think there's any reason to believe that free NHS care is under threat from this trade deal. I don't think there's any reason to believe that. I think that that is a, a false fear. Because in the end, the health service is still under the control of our parliament and every mainstream political party is committed to health care free at the point of use. And it just, that is, you know, I've been in the private meetings and I've listened to senior ministers and I know that they are all sincerely committed to free health care. OK, thank you very much, Steve Baker. It's lovely speaking to you. Look forward to you subscribing to Moving On TV. Thank you very much. Thank you. So to summarize, we've just been speaking to Steve Baker. You make your own decisions. Is this going to affect you or not? I personally feel that we need to take action now because in five years from now, it could be in five years from now, the situation could be very, very difficult. And if you don't believe me, go on the Internet, do your own research. Don't just listen to your MPs or watch the news because they won't always give you the truth. As I say, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You make your own decisions. Thank you very much. Signing off now from High Wicker, moving on TV.